Now, Vodafone says that it is seeing good momentum in Europe with robust growth in Italy and Spain. It's the world's second largest mobile operator and it saw sales up 2.2% at 10.3 billion euros. Uh, Matthew Hart is an independent telecoms analyst and he joins us now. How have they been doing in the UK? Because they've had real problems in the UK over customer service, haven't they? They have. Their well publicised problems with customer service have been going on for a couple of years now. I think what we can tell from these results is that there is a recovery underway. The changes that they're making to improve the service for customers is, is getting noticed and uh, things like the net promoter score, whether or not Vodafone would get recommended to, to other people are getting better, which suggests that some of that turnaround is working. Matthew, what about elsewhere? So uh, they've done quite well in southern Europe, but they've got quite a lot of challenges in India, is that correct? That's right. Southern Europe is, is looking good. They've, uh, they've seen a lot of revenue growth because the prices have been going up. Uh, India is a lot more challenging. There's been a new competitor that's come into that marketplace, which has really challenged all of the existing players by almost giving away data. Uh, and Vodafone has struggled in particular. Um, why Southern Europe? Why are they managing to do very well? I mean, the economies aren't exactly known for being strong there. A couple of reasons. I think in uh, Italy, for example, they've successfully increased the amount that consumers are paying every month, so revenues have gone up. Uh, and in Spain, they've been able to sell across the whole sort of portfolio of products, so not just mobile phones, but also things like broadband to consumers. What do you think is next for Vodafone, Matthew? Ultimately, I think Vodafone has got to look at its position in the UK. It was, it's a British company. It used to be number one. It's now number three. It wants to turn that around. It wants to become back uh, to, a, to a leading position. And I think it needs to focus on how it's going to do that by thinking what's next. Things like 5G, for example. OK, Matthew Hylett, independent telecoms analyst. Thank you very much for your time.